I'm Ed Strickland, I'm Chief Engineer at Kingfisher Digital. Hi, I'm Helena, I'm Senior Product Manager at ASOS. My name is Ben, I'm a Senior Engineer in the Product Research Department in Just Eat. We are here today at the Hacker Games, we are supporting the charity Help for Heroes. Uh, which actually helps veterans and their families who need some help, whether it be with housing needs or support in other areas. So we're building this app that we want to connect um, some of the X-Forces people uh, with the people who are offering the support. We developed a mood tracker. Our vision, Invictus for the Mind, a product that's specifically designed to help you discover what career paths are available to you while you're transitioning from the service. Our idea is to look at helping people who might be suffering from PTSD, making a social platform where they can share their experiences. So there's breathing exercises as well, so our app will help you with those breathing exercises. We are building a platform that is targeted at the families and the spouses of the veterans to help them better understand what uh, their spouses, their veterans are going through. Uh, when we did the research and we started looking at the websites available and the support that's available, we just felt that there was too many barriers, too many clicks to get the information they needed. So we said, well look, why don't we just reduce those barriers and we'll just make it easier for them to talk to somebody about it. My name's Alex and I work for Mimpig. We did a lot of research on how psychologists tend to help um, people with PTSD kind of come to grips with it. So our product will um, allow people to have this uh, therapeutic experience through their own means uh, with a virtual reality headset on their phone. So they just need something like Google Cardboard, put it on their phone and then they can do it themselves without having to pay for expensive therapy or anything like that. I'm Toby O'Sullivan. I work for Just Giving. I'm a site reliability engineer. We've taken the approach of a CV system which enables our veterans to enter their experience from a military point of view and it will give them a, sort of a guided experience through to creating a CV that would work for civilian jobs and then giving them suggestions of, uh, of where they might go next, how they might apply and uh, the sort of roles that would be appropriate for their experiences. I'm Tamara Miner. Um, I uh, am the product manager at Pusher and I work on the chat kit product. So we are the headline sponsor. Uh, we heard about the events and heard which charity uh, it's sponsoring and raising money for and got really excited about it. Some of the teams actually get ChatKit, one of our beta products, tested out um, and, and used for a really good cause. So my role here at the Hacker Games is as a judge, yes. which I'm very excited about. I'm looking for some creative pragmatism. I love a succinctness and a creative approach. I want to see these guys solve a problem eloquently and simply. Not necessarily try and boil the ocean, but come up with something innovative and tight. From my perspective, it's all about usability. It's all about, there are a number of ways in which the teams have taken the brief and the diversity of where they've gone has been quite inspirational. One of the really cool apps thus far uh, that we've seen has been to help connect veterans with therapists and making sure that they get the support that they need through Help for Heroes. They're using ChatKit to actually connect those veterans with therapists, which is really cool to see. We know that there's difficulty in transitioning from uh, forces life to civilian life. We want to give them confidence in that, but to get away around that altogether, why don't we just do it anonymously? X forces to X forces. Uh, X forces to the various support available. So whether that's somebody who could offer financial advice, whether that's you know, yeah, like Citizens Advice Bureau, whether it's Good Samaritans, and our focus on it was more around it's, it should be more sort of peer to peer. You know, connecting veterans with each other um, who share similar experiences uh, and in that social way um, will provide a really good experience and hopefully the idea of the app, the tagline of the app is better together. What's going to have the biggest impact and the biggest reach? to the most amount of people is where I'm really intrigued in. Often hackathons are really great experiences where you can learn something, but often the, the products or whatever you build kind of just goes away. Something like this, which is a two-day event where you get really great minds from the tech industry being able to help a charity that doesn't normally have access to people of that caliber to actually build something that can help them out and build solutions for you know the end user, in this case veterans, is actually really impactful. It's been quite fun to hack for a good cause. I think there's a certain pride behind it. You know, you want to be 
been the best there, I guess. The hackathon and know its sponsorship of it is right on the money of where we need to be to attract the right diverse talent into tech careers. So all the stuff we've been doing is something I don't do in my day-to-day -day job. Um, so I've learned a load of new stuff, how to develop apps for Android, vaguely how to make a VR game in Unity and how to marry that all together. So I kind of take away that and that it isn't quite as daunting as you might think. If any of these products end up moving forward past the hackathon, I think that could be a really, really great thing um, to see a, a positive social impact come out of this. We do quite a few number of charity events, but um, like involving with the community over uh, like tech to solve a social need, so that's pretty, pretty damn important. Bringing together the sort of social responsibility that we each have as people into a, a way to demonstrate our own skills and capability. I mean, for me, that's what it's about. It's about you know changing the world a little bit every day, making it a bit better. And if you can do that through tech, all the better.